In February, I was blessed to visit our sister parish of Saint Laurent in Haiti. One of my goals was to take photos of all the children at the two parish schools. The children in maroon uniforms are from the village of Bassamania, and the children in blue uniforms are from the village in Declin. It was a great joy to see all of the students who benefit from the nutritious feeding program we support. I explained to each class of students that I was taking photos to share with you, the faithful parishioners of Christ the King Parish. The children range in age from 3 to 14 years. As you can see, some of them are quite shy, while others were happy and excited. Although it is customary in Haiti to have a solemn, dignified look on your face for a formal photo, not every child could suppress their joy. I am thankful you can see their beautiful smiles. Of course, I also had the time to visit with friends, walk in the countryside, and hold babies. Something that always impresses me is witnessing multi-generational families living together and caring for one another. Despite the poverty in which they live, there is a great deal of joy and laughter. I am fortunate to be welcomed into the lives of these people. I hope to return to Haiti this July. Perhaps some of you might be interested in joining me to see for yourselves the beauty of this Caribbean island and experience the genuine love and profound faith of the people. I want to personally thank you for your financial support. Feeding almost 600 children daily would not be possible without you. We currently provide $550 each week for the feeding program. As you can imagine, less than a dollar a day per child does not fully cover the cost of rice, beans, oil, condiments, charcoal, and fuel for delivery. I ask that you be generous this weekend in the hope that we might be able to increase our weekly contribution to Père Roni the pastor of Saint Laurent. I would be remiss if I did not remind you of the prayers being offered for you each week in the parish of Saint Laurent, in the classrooms of the two schools, and in the homes of these children. In Haitian Creole, I offer this blessing, I pray that God blesses you, protects you, and brings you peace. In February,